Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance for the upcoming week. This is going to be a general reading guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Okay, you've come up as the Ten as well as the Eight of Swords, guys. This is interesting. Both are quite um, interesting cards here. Let's begin with the... I mean, you've got some beautiful cards here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. You've got the Star card here. I feel like there's a certain situation that the universe is really taking care of in your life. It's something that I feel like... It's something that has been affecting you in particular over the last couple of months or even years. But I'm seeing that there is something. And for a lot of you, you felt as though, you know, you felt as though this was quite a difficult and a very challenging, perhaps even tumultuous time in your life. I feel like it especially relates to your love and your romantic, your relationship life. Um, but to me, it feels like. You know, you've gone through something very difficult. You've gone through something very challenging. It may have been a breakup, a separation. You know, things may have um, disintegrated for you. A marriage, a relationship. Um, but to me, this cycle that you were going through, okay, it's... Things are about to return to a normal, to a normal um, level soon. Things are about to return to a sense of normalcy. And I feel like this cycle that you are going through, you are about to find out. You yourself are about to find out why it was so important for you to go through what it is that you have gone through. I feel like for, you, for a lot of you, you've made the most of it. Because even though it was very difficult, okay, leaving someone behind, putting an end to a relationship or a situation which ultimately you knew maybe wasn't going anywhere. But for a lot of you, I feel like it evolved you, okay? This, this very challenging, this very difficult time in your life, it pushed you outside of your comfort zones. It pushed you outside, it stretched your limits, right? Um, it helped you grow, it helped you evolve, it challenged you. Um, it led you to a lot of self-discoveries about yourself and about other people. And the Wheel of Fortune is a reminder that, you know, life is in a constant change um, it's a constant cycle of change and you know sometimes you're on top sometimes you're on the bottom and for a lot of you you have had you know you've had some sort of difficulties like from what I can see you've, you've been going through you know it feels like it's been an, a complicated state of emotional affairs you've had a lot of difficulties and you've had a lot of challenges but I feel like You know, the universe, what, what you've sent out is coming back to you. And a lot of you have maintained, you've maintained your strength, you've maintained your resilience, and you've maintained your kindness and your goodness throughout all of this. I feel like you've never wished anyone ill will. Um, and even like whatever it is that you've gone, you've gone through, you've never, you know, turned around and said, you know, why did it have to happen to you? Or why did it have to happen this way? Uh, I feel like there is a lot of, there's going to be a turning point, a major turning point in your life here. And I feel like, you know, happiness and abundance is making its way to you or even back to you. I'm seeing that the universe is taking care of this situation in the best possible way. So you might really feel like 
you know, there was someone here who walked away from you. But to me, it feels like, you know, it, it, there's a different spin on it. Because you don't really see it from that vantage point. But the reason why, you know, you put up with the wrong one is that the wrong one could lead you to the right one. Or the reason why something didn't work out and one door closed was because, you know, in one door closing, another opened for you or a window opened for you. So everything had to have... You know, everything had to happen this way. And to me, your life is about to turn in a very positive direction. Because through all of it, you have grown and you have expanded and you're still growing and you're still expanding. And a lot of you have kept quite an open mind to signs and synchronicities from the universe. And, you know, the, the Wheel of Fortune and with the Star card tells me that the magic of destiny and the magic of fate is working with you. Okay, and there are so... There is so much goodness that is about to come into your life and I hope you are ready for it because as we've mentioned, you know, up and down, that's the natural rhythm of life, ups and downs, right? And I think a lot of you had had your fair share of your, you know, your down moments. You've had your fair share of, you know, your turbulent situations and things are about to turn in a very positive direction and you have to understand that you're also getting help and guidance from both the physical and the spiritual realms, okay? So... Don't worry yourself too much. Everything is going to work out. If you've had, you know, if, be, if you've been down on your luck when it comes to relationships, um, partnerships, or even like business or finances, that all of that is about to change. You're also being guided to something so much better than you had imagined. Um, I'm also seeing that there are factors outside of your control that are influencing your situation to be um, so that it turns in a more uh, positive direction. Go with the flow because let me tell you, uh, the flow of abundance is coming to you. Um, some of you are going to hear news about a pregnancy. I don't know. For some of you, it could be you. You might find out that you're pregnant. Um, or I feel like you might receive news that a loved one, a loved connecting energy, a close friend, uh, someone he is expecting. I'm, I'm getting, um, I'm getting some very yeah wonderful positive news about a pregnancy, about someone welcoming a child into the universe, so into this world. So whether it's you or whether it's someone very close, and I feel like you know you're truly happy for it. I'm also seeing some of you are about to turn your life in a whole new direction. And I think that happens because you're in tune with the universe. You're also in tune in your, with your intuition. And you're allowing that to guide you. I feel like success is yours for the taking. Only if you want it. Do you want it? Because it's there for you to take it. Uh, for those of you, and it doesn't necessarily have to apply to romance. I feel like it, it extends to all areas of your life. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of good news coming your way. Like... Um, a, a wonderful new beginning with a very compatible, uh, with a very loving, romantic energy. Someone who feels like this is it. They could be the one. It could be a past person who comes back completely. They're coming back as a complete new energy. They've done a. They've done. A, I feel like there's been a makeover here with this individual. They have transformed themselves where they're almost unrecognizable in a sense. It could be a complete new energy that is coming in for you, but there's just something so special about this person and about what the two of you will have. Best believe that destiny has orchestrated, if not all of it, then some part of this. I mean, at the end of the day, you do get your free will, right? You do get to decide. Um, there are some things that are ending for you and some of you might, you know, it might feel uncomfortable and it might feel painful with the Ten of Swords energy. Whatever it is that ends for you, whatever doors are clo closing for you here, understand that what is behind those closed doors is not meant for you. So if someone, you know, ghosts you or if someone walks away from you, don't chase. Do yourself a favor. Hold your head up high. Do not chase that person. Better yet, go show them the door and close it shut behind them. Because whoever is taking an exit from your life, you don't understand this, but they're doing you a favor. They're creating room in your life for something better and something more suited for you. 
what you know and it, it, it applies to romance it applies to business friendships all areas of your life so what finishes for you let it finish go with the flow okay because there's a lot of fluidity don't be resistant to change because what's coming in for you is absolutely magical it's absolutely transforming here you're taking huge steps in the positive direction whatever it is that you've been doing keep keep it up because i feel like it's taking you there's so much momentum there's so much positive energy in the cards you're so much Okay, you may not be where it is that you want to be just yet, but I'm telling you, you're going the right way about it. You're, you're, so, you're getting so much closer towards something, towards some sort of goal or aspiration. You're getting closer, for, even like for those of you in relationships, okay? Keep working at it. Keep working at it because it's like you're, whatever it is that you've been wanting, you're that much closer to it. Eight of Swords energy, you know, you guys are air signs, you guys are... You get you get in your heads too much, right? I think you agree with me. You know, you you think and you overthink and you analyze and you overanalyze. And whilst it's a good thing, I think it's a good thing. Not always, you know, it can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing because you become so wrapped up in you know every little detail that sometimes overthinking and overanalyzing can lead you to you know begin to start constructing stories that aren't even real in your head. So you know get out of your head get out of your head because i'm seeing that some of you there's this there's this sense of feeling that overcomes you not always but there's a sense of feeling that you know you ha it's a sense of helplessness and you feel like you can't change the situation because you're trapped or because there's no alternative or because you feel powerless or because you know um you just feel like you want to give your personal responsibility away to something or someone here. For a lot of you, you have relinquished the driver's seat of your own life to someone else. And no wonder it's not going well for you. So you need to take back your own personal power, your own personal responsibility. Okay, and these, you know, if you find yourself trapped in something here, let me tell you, it's because, you know, you've created that sense of entrapment yourself through your way of thinking it's because you know it's all it comes down to it's it's that simple and that complicated is you removing the blindfold and seeing be, beyond the limited perspective that you're seeing right now there's a lot of possibilities there's a lot of possibilities that lie ahead of you but you're not looking or you might be looking in the wrong direction so remove the blindfold some of you feel trapped and powerless, but that's not the case at all. It's just, it's it's your way of thinking that's got you there. And the star card is an absolutely beautiful card for you to have because I do feel like there's so much, I feel like there's just so much magic. You're truly blessed by, by the universe. You are about to enter a very loving, a very peaceful phase of your life. It feels very healing. It feels very renewing. Um, I'm picking up a lot of spirituality, a lot of hope. You're entering, a lot of you are entering a new cycle here, a new cycle of your life. To me, it does feel like you've endured a lot of challenges and some of you have, you, you've been through a lot, but you're, you are connected to the divine. You yourself are a pure loving energy and to me, it feels like you're, you're entering um, a very beautiful stage of your life. There's a lot of significant personal growth and development that you're going through. And the universe is about to bless you with something very abundant, something very special. Right now, like with the star card, anything is possible. Even a little bit of magic, anything feels possible right now. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.